Hello, welcome to your morning power yoga class. This is going to be a quick intermediate flow to help you kickstart your day, give you some energy, and to help tone the full body. So we're going to get started in child's pose. So making your way on your mat, spread the knees as wide as is comfortable, reach the arms forward, and allow your forehead to rest gently on the mat. Feeling your hips press back towards your heels, close your eyes, and right away begin to connect to your breath. Breathing deeply in and out through the nose and just noticing how your body responds. Feeling the expansion of the ribs, the belly, and feeling the rise and fall of the back. Giving yourself this moment here to settle into stillness, perhaps set an intention for your practice this morning. Beginning to deepen your breath. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. With your next breath, come up high on the fingertips and gently lift the head up off of the ground if that feels good. Getting a gentle stretch in the shoulders and the chest. Continue to relax the upper body. And then gently walk your fingertips over towards the left side of the mat. Breathing into the right side body, keep pressing the hips back towards the heels. With your next breath, walk your hands back towards center, bringing your fingertips over to the right side. Breathe into the left side body. Feel the spaces between the ribs expand. And walking your fingertips back to center. Press your palms into the mat, lift yourself up, come into tabletop pose, stacking your joints. Spread your fingers nice and wide, tuck your back toes under, and move through your cats and cows. Moving at your own pace here, just try to flow with your breath. So as you inhale, drop the belly, lift the hips, and as you exhale, round through the spine. Continue to push the floor away with your hands, focusing on breathing into the low belly. If it feels good, you can start to shift your weight back and forth. So as you round through the spine, bring your shoulders past your wrists. And then as you lower the belly, bring the hips back towards the heels. Good, a few more rounds just like that. And then come back to a neutral spine. With the toes tucked under, go ahead and lift your knees a few inches up off of the mat. So just hovering them here, core engaged, body strong. Three, two, one. Lift the hips, downward facing dog. Press into the palms and then begin to pedal out through the feet. Stretching out the back of the legs as you relax your head and neck in between the arms. Find stillness in your downward dog, rooting down through your hands and your feet. Breathe here.
From here, come up high on your toes, lift your heels up off of the mat, roll forward into a plank position. Shoulders stacked over the wrist, core engaged. As you exhale, come back downward facing dog, hips lift up high. We'll do that twice more. So as you inhale, come up high on the toes, roll forward, plank pose. With your next exhale, come back, downward facing dog. One last time, roll forward, plank pose. This time we're going to draw left knee to left elbow hold. Step left foot back, plank, and then switch sides, right knee to right elbow hold. Good, step back to plank, hold here and then lower onto the forearms for forearm plank. Arms parallel to each other, core strong, spine straight. We'll hold here for 10 seconds. Keep the breath steady. Neck, shoulders relaxed. One last breath. Good, lower down to Sphinx pose. Releasing your hips and your legs, opening the heart. Think of dragging your palms towards the back of the mat. Breathing into your back bend. Coming back into forearm plank, lower the head, tuck the back toes, push yourself up. Core engaged, arms strong. And then we'll come into hip dips. So twisting your spine to the left so that the left hip comes down to the mat. Good, inhale back through center, exhale twist to the right, right hip comes down. Inhale back through center, exhale twist to the left. Center, twist to the right. We'll do that once more on each side, coming back to center, twist to the left. Good, one more here. Back through center, hold and then lower sphinx pose. Untuck your toes, open the heart. Stretching out the belly, opening the heart. Bringing your hands underneath your shoulders, elbows hugged in, coming into upward facing dog. Push into your palms to lift your hips, tops of the thighs and kneecaps. As you exhale, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Beautiful, take a breath here. Reset the body. Moving into our standing sequence, three-legged dog, right leg lifts, root down through the left heel, core engaged, arms strong, inhale. As you exhale, draw right knee to right elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, twist right knee to left elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, hug right knee into chest, hold, and then step right foot forward in between the hands. Come up into high lunge, reaching the arms up overhead, palms face towards each other, press the hips down, shoulders stacked over the hips, inhale. As you exhale, come into airplane, so reaching the arms back behind you, palms face down, belly to right thigh. Good, inhale back up into high lunge. We'll do that twice more. As you exhale, lean your weight forward, reach the arms back. Inhale to high lunge. Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale back to high lunge. Lean your weight forward, come into stork pose. So shifting your left knee up standing on the right leg at the front of your mat. Strong through the standing leg, spine tall, breathe in. As you exhale, come into balancing warrior three, send the left leg back, lean your upper torso forward, coming into a T-shape with your body. Arms reach out ahead of you. Step back into high lunge, left toes plant down, reach the arms up. Bring hands to the hips. We're going to tap the back knee down, lowering for three. Inhale, lift. Exhale, two. Inhale, lift. Exhale, one. Inhale, lift, reach the arms up overhead. 
As you exhale, twist to the right. Right arm reaches behind you, left arm reaches forward. Inhale back into your high lunge, facing forward. Exhale, warrior two, opening hips, chest to the left side of the mat, back foot spins flat. Lift your front, heel up off of the mat, come into a reverse warrior with an arm twist. So your right arm reaches back and your left arm is going to reach forward. Squeeze the core together. Slowly release your front heel down, come back into warrior two, and then we'll find extended side angle with an arm twist. So left arm reaches up and over, and then the right fingertips reach for the left toes. Squeeze the core together. Come back into warrior two, and then again, find that reverse warrior with an arm twist. Lifting that front heel up. Come back, warrior two, and then extended side angle arm twist. Beautiful, come back to warrior two, straighten out your front leg, triangle pose. Right hand comes down, reach your left arm up. One more breath. High lunge twist, plant the left hand down, spin on the back toes and reach the right arm up. Keep the hips lifted up high. Plant the right hand down inside of the right foot, turn to face the long ways of your mat and then turn all the way to the back of the mat. Stepping back into downward facing dog, hips lift up high. Come back to your breath here. Root down through your hands and your feet. And then left leg lifts, three-legged dog. Core engaged, arms strong, inhale. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, extend, three-legged dog. Exhale, twist, left knee to right elbow. Inhale, lift, left leg up. Exhale, hug, left knee to chest and then step left foot forward. Inhale to rise up, high lunge. Soften into your front knee. Big breath in as you exhale, airplane arms, leaning forward, reaching the fingertips back. Inhale to lift, and then again, we'll do that twice more. Exhale, lean forward. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale. Inhale. Preparing for stork pose. Leaning into the left leg, coming to stand. Lifting the right knee up towards the chest. Strong through the core, strong through the standing leg. Take one more breath. As you exhale, come into balancing warrior three. Send the right leg back, reach the arms forward. Gaze slightly out ahead of you, find your balance. Step, right toes back, high lunge. Bring your hands to your hips. And then we'll lower, dropping the back knee down for one, and lift. Back knee down for two, lift. Back knee down for three, and lift. Reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, twist to the left. High lunge twist, right arm reaches forward, left arm reaches back. Inhale, back through center, high lunge. Exhale, warrior two, opening up to the right side of the mat. Lift your left heel up off of the mat. Come into that reverse warrior twist. Left arm reaches back, right arm reaches for the left toes. Come back, warrior two, extended side angle twist. Right arm reaches up and over, left fingertips reach for the right toes. Come back, warrior two, reverse warrior twist. Come back to warrior two, extended side angle twist. 
Feel your core firing up here. Breathe. Come back, warrior two. Triangle pose, straighten out your front leg, left hand comes down, reach the right arm up. High lunge twist, lowering the right hand down, spinning on the back toes and reaching the left arm up towards the sky. Keep the hips lifted up, back heel lifted. Exhale slowly, lower left hand down to the ground. Turn to face the long ways of your mat and then turn all the way to the back of the mat. Step back into downward facing dog. From here, gaze at the top of the mat and make your way to the front. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale for chair pose. Bend the knees, reach the arms all the way up. Core engaged, shoulders relaxed away from the ears. Bringing the weight slightly into the heels. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, twist to the right. Right arm reaches behind, left arm reaches forward. Hips still facing forward, but chest open to the right. Good, inhale back through center, reach the arms up. Exhale, airplane arms. Leaning your belly down towards your thighs. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale back through center. Exhale, airplane arms, sweeping them back, palms face down. Inhale back to chair pose. This is the last chair pose here. If you'd like to challenge yourself, lift the heels up off of the mat. Hold three, two, one. Release, forward fold, hang out here for a couple of breaths. Relaxing your upper body over your legs. You can sway from side to side if that feels good. On your next inhale, halfway lift, flatten your back, lift your gaze. And exhale, plant your hands. We're going to lower all the way down to the ground. So bringing your hips down towards your heels allowing your sit bones to rest on the ground. We're coming into boat pose here. Lifting your feet up off of the mats, knees bent as an option, arms extended out alongside the body. Keep your spine tall and your shoulders relaxed. Gaze out ahead of you. We'll start to engage the core by finding high boat to low boat. So take a big breath in. And then as you exhale, lower. So straightening out the legs. And then inhale to lift. Exhale, lean back, straighten the legs. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower, core engaged. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Last one. Exhale, hold here, flutter the legs. So just kicking the legs up and down and release lower your back down to the ground and hug your knees into your chest awesome job gently rock from side to side from here coming into our cool down release the arms alongside the body press into the palms lift the hips and set them over to the right side of the mat and then release the legs over to the left, coming into a supine twist, keeping the knees bent. Reach the right arm out wide and breathe into the low back. You can close your eyes here.
slowly coming back to center. Press your palms down into the mat, lift your hips again, this time over to the left, and then we'll relax the legs over to the right side. Extend the left arm out wide, relaxing the shoulder blades into the ground, and breathing. Slowly come back through center, coming into happy baby. Bringing the arms inside of the legs, opening up the knees to stretch out the hips. When you're ready, slowly release your feet and we'll come into reclined butterfly pose. So bring the soles of the feet together and let the knees open out wide. Readjust your feet to support you in the stretch. So if you'd like a deeper stretch, the heels will come closer towards the torso. For less intensity, slide the feet further away from the body. And if this is uncomfortable for you, you can simply come into Shavasana. Rest your left hand over your heart and your right hand over your low belly. Close your eyes. Take a big breath in through your nose and a slow exhale out through the mouth. Again, take a big breath in through both nostrils and exhale, release the breath. If that felt good, you can find one more cleansing breath here on your own, filling the lungs fully and releasing the air out through the mouth. Allow your breath to come back to its natural rhythm. Allow your body to completely relax. Softening the face, the jaw, allowing the arms and the legs to be heavy. Feel the rise and fall of the belly and the chest as you breathe. Feel the openness and the expansion in the hips, the shoulders. And just take a moment to acknowledge your gratitude. Gratitude for your body and your breath for working together, for allowing you to move, to feel good. And gratitude for this practice. Gratitude for yourself for showing up on your mat today. Take one more breath here. And then when you're ready, slowly draw the knees together, lifting your feet up off of the mat and hugging your knees into your chest. When you're ready, gently rock yourself up, coming into a comfortable seated position, keeping the eyes closed or the gaze soft. Notice how you feel physically and energetically. And gently we'll bring our hands to heart center, prayer position. 
Thank you so much for joining me on the mat today for this power yoga flow. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste.